Residents and walkers often complain about off-road bikes and cars being very noisy and dangerously driven on footpaths, parks, canals, building sites and on public roads. Section 59 of the Police Reform Act 2002 gives the police the power to seize in certain circumstances any vehicle that is mechanically propelled, intended or adapted to be used on the road such as monkey bikes, 4x4s, electric scooters and buggies. Section 59 is a police power to seize vehicles and in short says this where a police officer in uniform has reasonable grounds for believing that a motor vehicle is being driven carelessly or inconsiderately or is being used in prohibition of off-road driving and is causing or is likely to cause alarm, distress or annoyance to members of the public then the police have the power to stop the vehicle, seize and remove the vehicle, enter a garage or driveway to seize the vehicle and use reasonable force if necessary. And the police can also seize the vehicle under section 165A and section 19. Check out the videos Can the Police Seize My Vehicle under section 165A and the Police Power to Seize Vehicles and Property section 19. The police officer will usually need to warn the driver that the vehicle will be seized before seizing the vehicle. In certain circumstances, the police can seize the vehicle without giving the driver a warning, for example, when a warning has previously been given. The police officer does not need to witness the antisocial driving to carry out the power of seizure as long as he has reasonable grounds for believing that a motor vehicle has been used on any occasion in a careless or antisocial way. That can come from a complaint made to the officer from a member of the public. If a person fails to stop, then that is an offence punishable by a fine. So the general advice to residents is this. If you're a resident, then consider reporting any antisocial on and off road driving to the police and neighborhood watch groups. Two, take photographs and videos if you can of the driving. Check out the video on the rules of taking photographs and videos. Three, call for greater police patrols in those areas of particular times of the day or night where there is antisocial driving. And the general advice to off-road bikers is this, if you're an off-road driver and you want to make sure you're on the right side of the law and you want to make sure residents and neighbours are happy with you and you want to continue off-road driving, then 1. Contact the council's highway department of any permitted places and roads where you can off-road drive or join an established and specialised off-road driving organisation. There's many around the country. And 3. Make sure your vehicle is safe to drive check out the video off-road bikers keeping safe on and off the road thank you for watching please subscribe to community legal education so you can be the first to watch these short legal video explainers on police powers and many more other videos please check out our website www.clevideos.co.uk for more legal information remember to speak to a solicitor if you need specialist legal advice and may the justice be with you